can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. execution on that leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Straight punch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Both guys appeared to land there. Fast pace here in the early going. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh man, I could barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Oh, that's big. Another big body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Sidekick, well placed. Let's go. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Hands up, hands up. Good jab there by the champion. Good jab. That's it. Head kick blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Teep now. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Just misses with that one. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, elbows up top. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Timing and precision on point, another punch lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Some damage 
damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, nice. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh! Checks that leg kick. Ten seconds to go in the round. Guess the single collar tie now. Always busy here at the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Round two straight ahead. All right, buddy. Let's punch into that clinch this round. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. The previous round figures to be a tough act to follow. Just a great balancing job of patience, accuracy, and aggressiveness. You watch him, and you see the relaxation in his approach. Everything is flowing. The shoulders are popping. The feints, the feints come off. The jabs, the right hands, everything just seemed to be clicking. He was in the zone. Sometimes basketball players say they're throwing the basketball into a garbage can. Right. In the first round, it looked like he was in his zone. DC can't throw the ball in the ocean. I can't throw the ball into the ocean. <laughs> got a pretty good 15. I got a good jump shot, man. Come on. <laughs> this pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, and a head kick there. Oh, nice. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Get out of there. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Big punch land. Ooh. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. Up. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Missed with that right hand. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Oh, lands another pinpoint 
strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going. Down. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh! Sidekick, well done. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Massive elbow for the fight. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Throws that tee. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Big right hook there by the champ. Uh, Two rounds in the books. Uh. All right, man, listen to me. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. Control the fight on the ground. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on Ready. him for not really Ready. making the adjustment Good. to stop. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice shot there by the champ. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Now some separation from his clutch position. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Nice jab. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, big right hand, yes. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the face to his opponent. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, block that punch. Keep your distance. Keep your 
Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, the kick landed. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. That is tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right on the button. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. there by Lee. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, misses with the jab. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Sidekick. He lands a solid punch there. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, with a calf kick 
strength has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Just out of range with that left hook. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects there. Lands a good series of kicks here. Effective with the jab. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Great kick to the body. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, man. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Under a minute to go. Quick jab. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Punch over the top. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he does. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. All right, take a seat, man. Big breaths for Get some water and listen. All right, you're losing the stand-up war. I need you to start. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Solid kick by him there. Big shot to the head. He lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. 
Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. He's got that jab working. Nicely done. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Inside lead kick is there. Try to establish that jab. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Oh, nice combination, yeah. And now some separation. Nice straight there by Lee. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, high kick lands flush. Lands the low kick. Nice left hand. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice job blocking that shot. Two minutes now to go in this one. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Nice leg kick. Another one. Well, at some point, as a fighter, defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. His thigh is like purple now. Yeah, he's getting beat up. I mean, I, I just don't understand how he could have taken so many leg kicks before he started to realize that it was going to put him in danger. Waited too long, now he's going to find himself in some trouble. Your perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. What a last minute. Oh, with authority, the body. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, nice high kick. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, my goodness. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture or something. Well, it seems as though something's hurt bad here. The last time I saw somebody get this one, we were watching it. Oh, out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. We'll Ladies see how the judges saw it. Here rounds, is Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like